again? Well, this is uh, something a little bit different, and this is the Acoustic Energy Ego. I think it's pronounced that way. It's it's spelled A E G O M system, and it says a 2.1 system. Well, actually, more on that later. But you get this, you know, fairly big, solid, well-made subwoofer, and these little, actually, surprisingly heavy, dinky satellite speakers. So let's, let's have a bit of a look at the connections. Well, up here, you've got an on-off and a volume switch. Now, uh, this is a, a powered system, so the power comes into the subwoofer, which then amplifies the speakers. So there's this on-off volume switch, and down below here, there's a small 3.5 millimeter input jack for, you know, bipods or whatever. As you say, it's quite heavy. So around the back, you've got um, three inputs there for left, right, and center. Um, I've not actually seen many things with a with a sort of a center output, and I'm wondering if this was designed for, for computer audio. And I thought this would be great for you know a desktop PC system. You then got a three-position bass level. You've got a, a switch to say whether you've got a center in or out. And then you've got the three speaker output terminals for, for left, right and centre. Now I say this, this came with two of the satellite speakers, but you can buy an extra one from Acoustic Energy if you wish. I say that if the satellite speakers are incredibly dinky, uh, around the back of them they've got a, uh, a sort of a, a socket for wall mounting, and they've got little wall mounting brackets, and um, the speaker input is, is actually an RCA cable. But uh, luckily this comes with two, I think they're about five meter long, uh, speaker cables. So, you know, you can, um, uh, you can get started straight away, but you can't probably use a, a different cable without any, any uh, without, easily. So how do they sound? Well, in a, in a word, they, they sound fantastic, I think. I'm, I've been really pleased with this. Um, the, the one thing is there's a slight buzz to this, which and I've looked online, and this is, this is not un, uncommon, and I think it's a transformer buzz, because I understand the transformers you know, uh, sort of screwed into the back plate. Now, in, in a sort of a big or medium-sized room, I don't notice this because it was this is sort of uh, drowned out by the rest. But um, in a in a if you're in a very small room, I imagine that this could be could be a bit of a problem. But you know, so it depends on your room really. However. You know, what, what I'm really impressed with is you know, the sound from this thing. You know, you get plenty of volume. It can certainly uh, well fill a medium-sized room. And, and there's a lovely clarity to the sound. In fact, you know, I'm using these as uh, height speakers in my main uh, main sort of uh, home cinema system for, my, for the uh, Atmos. And, you know, they, they, they sound fantastic. And I've, I'm... Considering getting a few more of these, because I think they'd, they'd make you know good rear speakers as well. You can stick them to the wall; they're an obtrusive, and, and and overall, you know, I've been really pleased with this. So we get a, certainly a good amount of bass. There's plenty of power. There's clarity. There's precision. There's a good stereo image, and overall, I, I've been really pleased with these. So so these are a keeper. Anyway, I hope that's of interest to you, and thanks for watching. Bye bye now.